Alrighty, the next feature we want to talk about is available only to our Premium Plus members, and this is our advertising module that goes along with any business sponsorships you might have. So I'm going to kind of run you through that real quick. There are five main areas that you can advertise on your site. You don't have to use them all, you can use as many or as few as you want, but we have made five different spaces available for you to advertise. So I'm going to walk you through real quick where those spaces are, and then I'm going to show you how to set them up. The first place that you can place an advertisement is over in your sidebar, and you can put it anywhere within your sidebar. The second place you can display ads is on your home page, right underneath the continue reading. The third place that you can advertise is at the very bottom, right above the Powered by Digital PTO logo, and that's typically going to be a banner ad. The fourth place that you can advertise is on your news posts. So if we click in here and we go to the very bottom, you can advertise right here. And the fifth place that you can advertise is on your info pages. So if we click on an info page, you'll get an ad right down here. So let's talk about setting the ads up. Okay, so to get our ad set up, we're going to go under Tools. And if you're a Premium Plus member, you'll see a tool called Data Feeder Random Ads. Go ahead and click on that. And this is where we're going to create our ads. And the ads are built in groups. So we're going to build a couple different groups here, and I'm going to explain to you what they all do. So first of all, since we have no groups, the first thing we want to do is create a new group. All right, and I'm going to call this group News Page Sponsors. And I'm going to make these ads go underneath the news articles. That's why I'm calling it News Page Sponsors. Okay, and once you've named your ad group, which nobody will see, that's just for your reference, you've got a box down here. It says Ad Number One. So what you're going to want to do is put your very first advertisement in here. Now these are HTML based, so you're going to have to do some HTML if uh, you're not familiar with it. You could just do something as simple as typing in a name, but it's not going to look as great as it should. So one option would be to do something as simple as this. Sponsored by... Now this isn't a very good ad, but this is a usable ad. So why don't we go ahead and save this so you can see what's going on here. We're going to click back on it again so we can get back into it. So you can see the sponsored by Digital PTO. And this gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. Now there's one more thing we need to do uh, in order to make these show up. So under Appearance, go ahead and click the arrow there. And this, I'm going to open this in a new tab. So I'm going to right click on Widgets. And I'm going to open it in a new tab. Your browser might look different, but you should have an option, something similar to that at least. So now we have our widgets over here. Now you'll notice in the Graphene 2.0 theme that there are four additional widgets for ads down here. You've got under News Post Ad Area, Front Page Ad Area, Footer Ad Area, and under Info Page Ad Area. We're working on the News Post Ad Area right now, and it gives you a little bit of information about the sizing that we'd suggest as well. So to get your ads to show up, you're going to look for the Data Feeder Random Ads widget, which is right here. You're going to drag it down. You can put a title in if you want, although we don't really recommend doing that unless uh, you're just doing text-based ones. And then you're going to select your ad group. In our case, we only have one ad group right now, so we have our news page sponsors. We're going to say Save. And we'll go ahead and leave this widget window open because we'll be using it again. So again, we've got our uh, data feeder random ads going right now. We can see our preview. And now let's go to our live site and let's refresh this news here. And you'll see down at the bottom we have this sponsored by Digital PTO. Now this isn't a very effective advertisement for the advertiser because there's no links, there's no information really, so it's this isn't ideal for an advertiser. So what I would recommend doing is making sure that you give some information about your advertiser, whether it be a link to their website, whether it be a banner ad, something like that. Now if you don't know HTML, that's okay, we can help you out with that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you real quick how to get the HTML directly from your digital PTO site. So let's go back to your back end again and we're going to open up another new tab. And this time we're going to go under posts and we're going to go to add new and we're going to right click and we're going to say open link in new tab. That will open up a new news post for us up here and we're not actually going to use this um, live on our site but we are going to use it so that we can get some code. So for example in that last one now if we just want to make it nice and simple why don't we highlight digital PTO and we'll just make a link to the digital PTO site so we'll hit link now if we wanted to open it in a new window we can click this which I would recommend especially if you're leaving your site and then hit add link now if we want to highlight them a little bit more maybe we could bold them so we'll highlight their name and we'll bold it okay so this is what we want it to look like now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the HTML tab over here 
and you'll see that it has some extra code in here. So now I just want you to highlight this whole thing, and copy it, Control C, Command C, depending on if you're on a PC or a Mac. And now we're going to go to Data Feeder Random Ads. And instead of this, we're going to paste in our code that we just got from our news post section. We're going to scroll down and we're going to hit Save Changes. Again, it takes us back to the home. Let's go ahead and click on it so we can get back in there and we can see what it looks like. And you'll see this is the preview of what it's going to look like. So you've got the link there, it's bolded. Let's take a look at it on our live site. We only have one news post, so it will show up. And there it is, sponsored by Digital PTO. So now we have a nice link to them. Now, another option is to use images. So here's an example of using an image. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Now, this time, I'm going to add a banner image. And this is something we've pre created that either your business can create for you or uh, you can create for your businesses depending on what your ability levels are. So let's do a digital PTO one again. Here's a banner right here. And so we've uploaded that. Gives you a little preview here. Now we want it to go to our website like so. And we want it to be full sized. And now we're going to say insert it into the post. Just like that. And now we have a banner. Now let's click on HTML. We'll copy all this go back to our data feeder ads. Now this time we're going to say add a box. So now we have another box we can add. We're going to paste our code in and we're going to hit save changes. Now let's click new sponsors again. Let's go back to our website and hit refresh. We'll scroll down. It looks like we still got that one. So we'll hit refresh again. And there's our new ad. I hover over that. It's got a link to digital PTO and it works perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more ads that we've got uh, already pre-created and I will be back with you in just a moment. Okay, we're back. I've added all of our sponsors that are gonna go on our news pages and they're all listed here. You can see that it's giving me the preview. I did the save and then I came back in. Okay, so now that we've created our page news page sponsors ads, let's take a look at it again. We'll refresh this page and we should have a nice banner ad down there. There we go. So now every single news post that we post is going to have a nice ad at the very bottom of it. Now as I mentioned before, we do have the ability to create up to five different ad groups. And those can all be assigned to different places on your site. But if you want, you can also use the same ad group in multiple places on your site. So for example, these banner ads that we have should work great under the informational pages as well as in the footer of the site as well if we want to. So I'm going to go ahead and add that and show you how to do that. So we're going to go to widgets. All right, once widgets loads, we're going to scroll down. So we're under news post, we've already got in there. We also have the front page tiny ad area. We don't want to put this one there because this is too big for that. We've got the footer ad area. We can definitely put that one there. So let's take the data feeder random ads and put it down in the footer. And it's going to be our news page sponsors again. We'll save that. And then also under the info pages, we can put that same thing there. So let's go up and grab the data feeder random ads drag it down to the info page area. Again, we've got our news sponsors. We'll save that. So now, if we go back to our live site and we go home, there's an ad at the very bottom of the page. Now, if we click on a news article, we should have an ad at the bottom of the news article right here and also one at the bottom of the page right here. If we click on an informational page, we should have one at the bottom of the info page and we should have one at the very bottom of the website. And it looks like we do. So we have quite a bit of our advertising already set up. So now let's take a look at the tiny ads. The tiny ads, we call them tiny ads because we really want to suggest that they stay as small as possible. These ads will be on your home page as well as any of your archive pages. Those are going to be pages like if we go to January 2011, for example, and we look at this page. The ads will also show up on these pages, the archive pages. So to get this set up, let's go back to our data feeder random ads and we're going to click add new group and then we're going to call this one tiny sponsors. You can use some of that same code that we created before. Let me grab that real quick like so. Let's save the ad group real quick so we can take a look at it. We'll click on the ad group. All right, so this is what our ad looks like at this point. Let's add another ad in here. We'll just make one for something else. Do add box. We'll paste in our old code. That way we can kind of reuse that. And let's do, oh, one of my favorite, volunteer spot. If you haven't been to volunteer spot, it's a great way to organize volunteers. All right, let's go ahead and save these changes. 
And once that loads, let's click Tiny Sponsors again so we can see it. All right, so that looks good. Those are our two ads. Now, we had the widgets open previously, so let's go back to our widgets real quick. We're gonna go to the front page tiny ad area. Let's go to Data Feeder Random Ads and drag that over. And now that we have multiple ad groups, you'll see that you have choices in here. So we're gonna go Tiny Sponsors and hit Save. And if we go back to our home page here and we refresh that, you'll see that now we have these little ads that are underneath. Now I wanna show you something cool that you can do. If you're doing text-based ads like we've got in the example here, one of the things we can do is speed up your process a little bit. Instead of having to write sponsored by each time, we can take this sponsored by, take it out of there, and it says up here before ads. This is something that's gonna happen right before the advertisement, whatever's down here. So we can put sponsored by there. We can take it off of this one. And now when we create new ads, all we have to do is just this code right here without the sponsored by, and that will automatically get added. So that's kind of a cool feature. Now let's go ahead and save that, and I'm gonna show you something that's gonna happen here. All right, so if we go back into Tiny Sponsors again, you're gonna notice we added a space here, but it's not there. Um, so it's gonna, when it shows these ads, let me refresh these real quick so you can see what's gonna happen. They're gonna be right next to each other, and it kinda looks a little goofy. You need a space there. So I wanna show you a quick trick to get a space in there. It's a couple characters. It's ampersand, N, B, S, P, semicolon. I know it's kind of strange, but that creates a space. So now, if we save changes, and we go back here and we refresh, you'll see now we've got a space between that colon and our actual ad, which looks much better. Now another thing we can do is add images in here instead. So let's go back to Tiny Sponsors, and we'll just add some boxes. We'll keep the text ones in there. We can do a combination of different things. And again, I am getting these codes from going to a new post, uploading the image, importing it into the page, and then going to HTML and copying that code. Paste, and we'll do one more. Paste, all right, so we'll start with those three. And we'll save changes, and then let's go back to this and let's refresh. So now we've got, still we've got that default sponsored by, which still looks nice even with the images, and then you've got the image with the link. So let's go ahead and refresh that, take a couple other variations here. There's a text and an ad. There's reversed, so it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of my ad groups here, and I'll be back in just a couple moments. All right, so I've got all of our sponsors added in here now, little tiny little logos. So we're good to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and save the changes there. And we'll refresh this just so you can see what's going on. And again, the other locations where you'll find this will be in the archives under the categories as well as by date. Now the final place that we could put an ad is over on our sidebar. So let's do that real quick. So the first thing we'll do is create a new ad group. Okay with this one we don't actually sell advertising in our sidebar so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of informational ads in. So I've got three that I've pre-created and I'm going to link it to pages on our website to give people more information. So let me go ahead and paste these in real quick. This first one is to have people join the PTA, telling people to come to our next PTA meeting. And the final one, for business sponsors that might want their advertising on the website, they can click and get more information about sponsoring us. So let's save the ad group, and then we're gonna go ahead and click into it so you can see what the ads look like real quick here. So there we go, so have you join the PTA, that takes you to the join page. Join us for our next meeting, that takes you to the calendar with all the next PTA meetings listed. And this one will take you to the business sponsorship area. So let's get that added to our sidebar. So let's go back to our widgets. And we're going to refresh this page because we've added something new now. And in our sidebar widget area, if this isn't open, go ahead and click the arrow. And we're going to do data feeder random ads again. And this time we're going to put it right underneath the calendar. And on this one, we're going to select sidebar ads and hit save. Now if we go back over here and we hit home, you'll see right above our Facebook thing, one of our ads. And if we click on that, it'll take you into the business sponsorship info. To get that URL, I just went up to the top and I copied this and I made that the link from that image. For the PTA meeting, same thing. Let me show you, we'll go to the calendar. And then you actually have to find a PTA meeting listed. So let's go to November. You click on that and then you click on the category PTA meetings. And this will take you to the calendar that's just listing PTA meetings. Then you click on event list and this is all of the upcoming PTA meetings. Then I just copied this and I made that image linked to this URL. So now you have all of your ads installed and ready to go.